Tonight, health insurance for up to 15 million Americans is hanging in the balance, a pandemic era protection that allowed people to stay on Medicaid for three years without reapplying is now expired. States will start looking at their Medicaid rosters and redetermining whether or not people should still stay covered. Millions of people are likely to lose coverage, even though they might still be eligible. It would be just a nightmare. Recipients like 62-year-old Jeffrey Jackson in Arkansas relying on the program for health care could fall through the cracks. I would have to make whether I would eat or whether I would get my medication. Beginning today, five states are starting to remove people who may no longer be eligible from Medicaid. 16 states in May, the rest through October. This is the largest um, reshuffling of people in insurance programs since the passage and implementation of the Affordable Care Act more than 10 years ago. The Department of Health and Human Services warning children, young adults, and Black and Latino Americans may be disproportionately impacted. I still haven't heard anything. Texas mom of four, Lily Quintanilla, says her six-year-old son was born with cerebral palsy. With Medicaid, we're able to um, sustain him, I guess you can say. Because without it, I don't think we would have him here today. One reason that Americans eligible for Medicaid might lose their coverage is if they missed a letter in the mail. So be sure to get in touch with your state provider. If it turns out that you no longer qualify, you can look for health insurance through the Affordable Care Act. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.